least 35 youth were injured when their second floor youth room collapsed onto the first floor kitchen at Freedom Baptist Church in rural Jones County during Wednesday night services. Of the 35, 19 were transported by ambulance or private vehicle to a hospital in nearby Laurel. All injuries were non-life threatening, but one 16-year-old was airlifted to a regional trauma center in Hattiesburg about 30 miles away, according to Linda Cranford, the public information officer for the Jones County Fire Council. According to witnesses, injuries range from scrapes and bruises to lacerations, head injuries, and broken bones. In the middle of the student service, uh, the floor, which is a second story floor, uh, gave way, causing about 70 students to, uh, to fall. But it's got to be said that no one was seriously injured, no one was trapped. God's hand was certainly taking care of the kids who were in that building. The youth involved were between the ages of 7th grade and 12th grade. 18-year-old Tori Hodge described the scene. We were having worship service in the upstairs in the Family Life Center, and we were listening to Kevin Price speak, and he was speaking on um, what we have it doesn't define who we are, and that God defines who we are. And as he was saying that God defines who we are, um, uh, we heard a huge rumble, and the floor collapsed, and people collapsed with it. And who wasn't collapsed were laying um, vertical, and were on the ground, and a lot of injuries occurred. And but we are all still alive. Pastor Davis praised Kevin Price's leadership and the quick action of other leaders. Kevin is a wonderful student minister. He's been ministering at this church for two years now. The kids love him, and he—that uh, was evident because all the students flocked to him uh, after the initial panic was over, but in the moment of crisis, Kevin just rose to the occasion, made sure that everyone was out of the building safely, and immediately did what he could to run to this part of the building where all of the adults were, and alerted us that there was a problem, uh, allowing us to get over here as quickly as possible to make sure that all the students were out and uh, that the, the, most, the most wounded uh, were taken care of. The Chronicle will update this story as more information becomes available online and in print. Jason Niblett reporting.